Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. So today we are going to learn about human body and its structure from a same subject. Okay children? Okay. So who are we children? We are? Yeah, we are human beings. No, we are just going to learn about ourselves in our session today. So human body is like a wonderful mission. It is unique and the most amazing machine in the world. It is capable of doing many things that no other machine can do. Yes, human body. No, we have a wonderful system like which where we can work like a machine. Now, even sometimes a machine cannot work, like it cannot think. No, but humans, we can think and we can work beyond the machine. So that is why we call it as the human body is like a wonderful mission. No, and it is unique. Unique means what children? It is very special and the most amazing mission in the world. Yes or no? So man is very great. Man in the sense here who all human being is very great because he can do all wonders. All wonders which machines or any other creature or any other thing cannot do. So that is why human body is an amazing machine in the world. So it is capable, that's what I said, it is capable of doing many things. It is able to do many things that no other machine can do. No, for example, we are having computers today, we are having mobiles, we are having laptops, so many uh, electronic and electrical goods. Yes or no children? But all those things must be operated by a man, by a human being. No, we have to give them the instructions. Otherwise, they can't work. So, even though machines work very fast, but they are again operated by a human being. And who made them? Who made them? Even human being made them. We only made them. No, that is why human body is an amazing machine. Okay, children. And why we are able to make in the sense because of all our organs in the body. With the help of our, all our organs in our body, we are able to make this wonderful mission. Okay, children. Human beings are also living things. The human body is made of bones, blood, nerves and muscles. Okay. So, what we said that we are hum living things. Human beings are also living things. We can breathe. No children. We have senses. Senses in the sense what? You, you know all the five sense of organs? Yes, nose, eye, ears, all this sense of organs so we we have senses we can breathe no we are having life so that is why we are called as living things no yes and what is our body is made up of our body is made up of bones blood nerves and muscles like our body is made up of what children bones blood nerves and muscles the outer covering of our body, the outer covering of our body is the skin. So, we are having bones, blood, nerves, muscles inside our body, no, which we are not able to see. But for all that inner part, so we are having an outer layer of a cover. No, outer layer of the cover, like see here in the picture, this is the outer layer of the body and outer covering. And here... These are the internal organs of the body. Okay, children. So, this outer covering of the body is known as what? It is known as the skin. No? Different type of skins. Different colors of skins. No? Some will be white. Some will be uh, somewhat uh, dark in color. So, this outer covering of the body is known as skin. Clear, children? The body consists of different kinds of cells the body consists of different kinds of cells and cells are the basic building blocks of the body what are cells children they are the 
basic building blocks of the body now for example we if we want to construct a house no how do we build it how do we build it children with bricks now we'll cover one by one one after the other one after the we'll just pair the bricks and we'll build the walls of the house with the help of bricks no or stones so like that our cells cells here c e l l s cells these are the basic building blocks of the body okay they are the basic building blocks of our body clear children so our body consists of different kinds of cells and they are the basic building blocks of our body so we'll just learn about this a group of cells join together to make a tissue what what is a cell sorry uh, what is a tissue children a group of cells join together to make a tissue okay so what this so children as i said cells all together make a tissue and tissues all together make organs and so many organs of our human body for example as i said organs are external as well as internal and each one does special work no external organs that is which we can see like our hands legs eyes nose ears tongue all this okay children and in internal is nothing but inside our body that is here you can see in the picture like brain lungs heart liver stomach kidneys intestines all this these are inside the body which we cannot see that is why we call them as internal organs clear children they are inside our body that is why we call them as internal organs and each one does some special work every organ has got a special work every organ in a human body has got a special work like we hear with our ears no we see with our eyes we smell with our nose we taste with our tongue we do our work with our hands we walk with our legs yes or no children so these are all our external organs no and internal organs also like brain we think with our brain no we heart like uh, our blood is going to be pumped with, by the heart okay stomach whatever food we take it is going to get digested in the stomach no oh, digestion process of our food takes in stomach okay kidneys like waste of our body waste uh, our waste material is been um, circulated there okay so like that all our internal organs are also having every important work so all the organs together they have to do their duties in a proper so every part has to work in a proper way then only we will be having a healthy human body okay children clear so we have many parts in our body which work together so we have many parts in our body which work together okay different parts of our body are our hands eyes legs nose chest knee foot etc so as i said these are all different parts are body clear children yes now so a group of cells that remember please remember group of cells join together to make a tissue and group of tissues they make different organs and these organs are of two types that is external and internal clear children yes now then body systems body system what is a body system a group of organs working together to do some major work for our body forms a system so what is a system children system is normally when you say a system in the sense a rule a regulation okay system means so what is a body system here a group of organs working together to do some major work for our body forms a system so 
like some group of organs like we said we are having so many organs so some group of organs they work together they work together some one or two three organs together they work to do some major work and important work for our body and that forms a system clear children what is a uh, system a group of organs working together so, to do some major work for our body forms a system okay we learn like so many systems again the work is carried on in a very systematic manner from one organ to another organ okay the work is carried on in a very systematic manner that's what i said system means in a particular rule in a disciplined way so it has to work as per the rule it cannot change okay children so the work is carried on in a very systematic manner from one organ to another organ okay a body system keeps functioning whether we are awake or asleep see this is again a important one see a body system keeps functioning whether we are awake or asleep see even when when human beings we are awake or asleep the body system it does not stop its work it, it carries on its work so that's why we are living beings no children even though we close our eyes and sleep okay the remaining organs of our body through the system they keep on working they keep on working even though we are asleep or we are awake clear yes <clears throat> our body has several systems different systems help our body to perform different functions to live so as i said before so even though we sleep or awake the system has to work to make us live alive to make us alive okay children so it has several systems so many systems and different systems help our body to perform to do different functions different type of workshin works to live okay our body has got so many systems and these systems they help our body to work in different ways to make us live clear children without this body systems without the organs no we cannot live we can live without some organs also without some external organs also like if somebody is not having an eye he can live no problem but somebody if is not having some systems this body system so living becomes very difficult then okay children so that is why the body systems they have to work in a proper way okay so in a systematic manner that's what we said these body systems so they ha they have to carry their work in a systematic manner okay children so what are those systems we'll just see here okay the main body systems are skeletal system and muscular system respiratory system digestive system circulatory system excretory system nervous system and the reproductive system actually we are having so many body systems and in that so we are knowing about some main body systems so the remaining will be learning in your future classes that is further classes okay children so e even here also we'll be learning about uh, skeletal system but before going to that i'll just brief the remaining body systems like what they are actually so here we have got eight main body systems okay the first one is skeletal system what is a skeletal skeletal system children skeletal system have you known skeletal skeletal what do you mean by skeleton i might uh, i'm sure that you might know about this picture of skeleton okay what does it do it provides structure to to the body what does it do it provides structure to the body okay 
and the next one muscular system what do muscular system do it supports the body and allow it to move like for example our uh, hands legs like let a body movement we move our body so with the help of this muscular system we are able to move our body bend our body yes or no children so this is taking place because of the muscular system okay mm. then the third one respiratory system what is respiratory system like it like a breathing process it takes place here like it just takes in oxygen and just releases the waste gases okay children like the breathing system here respiratory system and the digestive system digestive system where does this digestion carry on children in the stomach what does this system do it just breaks down our food and it will absorb all the nutrients okay children it it breaks our food to get digested clear and the circulatory system what is circulatory system so it transports oxygen like the air what we take a take in okay transports oxygen and nutrients to cells and carries away the wastes okay children circulates it just circulates okay children and then excretory system excretory mean the sense like it just um, take off all the waste from our body it eliminates all the waste from our body and nervous system what is nervous system very important system so controls all our sense organs like as i said no we can see hear talk all this think all this control all the sense organs and movements and all the body activities that is why nervous system is very important in our body system okay children this one and the reproductive system the reproductive system is like uh, birth like giving birth like we human beings give birth no like so this particular process is going in this reproductive system that it is taken care by this reproductive system so these are the eight main body systems so we'll be learning about more body systems in your future classes okay children okay now now what we will see we'll see about our skeletal system now skeleton system so what is skeletal system it is a framework of 206 bones an adult human body has 206 bones so what is skeletal children so this picture you are very much aware of this picture we call it as skeleton no yes so it is a framework it is a framework of 206 bones so so for this skeleton in an adult human body an adult human body in the sense a grown up man or a woman it has 206 bones on the on his skeleton okay and they are joined together and form a framework called skeleton it's a framework it is joined together and it has developed as a frame so that is why we have called it call it as a framework okay and they are joined together to form a framework see here all joints if you see these parts these are all joints so these are i'm just uh, highlighting some but totally you are be ha- you will be having 206 bones and they are all joined together okay and this is called as a skeleton okay it gives form shape size and support to our body because of this skeleton so we are able to have a shape a shape a size and support shape like some are thin some are uh, fat no that is a shape human bodies are having different shapes yes or no children okay as our skeleton is designed designed same as that our body structure will be visible outside okay children and size some will be tall some will be short okay so this is and also the support like we will be able to stand yes or no so 
this skeleton is going to give us a form, shape, a size, form and support to our body. And the bones help the body in movements. So, the bo bones, like how many bones children here? 206 bones. These bones help the body in movement. That is like it helps them in our body movement. As is it, like uh, moving, bending, uh, walking. So, whatever lifting, whatever movement in our body is taking place, it is taking place with the help of the bones. Clear children? So, this is skeletal system. Now, how is its structure? How is its structure? See here, you, are, you can see in the diagram the pictures of its structure. So the first one is here, skull. Skull. Here. This one is the skull. Okay. How is the skull? See, it consists of 28 bones and protects the brain. So, skull. That is our head part. This is our head part. Okay. How, how is it? It consists of 28 bones. It has 28 bones and it protects the brain. It protects the brain. So, everybody when uh, we go on drive on a two-wheeler, so, we are asked to wear a helmet. No, helmet is very much important for us when we go on a ride on a two-wheeler. Why? Because suppose accidentally if we fall, so our brain, our brain must not be injured because that is the main part of our body. Yes or no? Main organ of our body. So, that brain is in this skull. No, and it consists of 28 bro bones and it protects the brain. Okay, children? Yes, rib gauge. Rib gauge. So, this is the rib gauge. See here. Ribs make a cage of bones around the chest, which is called rib gauge. Okay, so what is rib gauge? It, it has, I uh, mean, rib makes a cage. Cage, it is like a cage. Cage, you know children, what is a cage? Like iron bar, it is just covered with all the bars. So here also it looks like a cage, yes. So it is a cage made up of bones around the chest. Around the chest which is called rib cage. And it protects our internal organs, heart and lungs. So what does rib cage do? It is going to protect our heart and lungs. So you, you know where we are having our heart and lungs? Yes. So, that is going to be protected by this rib cage. And these two heart and lungs are internal organs. Yes or no children? Yes. So, like we, we call this as a chest part. Chest part. Okay. So, there are 12 pairs of ribs. 12 pairs. So, if we, this yellow color uh, bars are there, no children? So, these are ribs actually so you will be having 12 pairs of ribs clear now backbone or vertebral column backbone or vertebral column see here this one it is made up of 33 small bones called vertebra okay it protects the spinal cord spinal cord on the back on our back we will be having this spinal cord children okay and it is made up of how many small bones? 33 small bones. 33 small bones which are called as vertebra. Okay. And this is going to protect the spinal cord. Spinal cord. Clear children? Thus how is our skeletal system? So it has a skull. Okay. Which has 28 bones. And which is protecting our brain. And it has a rib cage which is around the chest, which is around the chest, okay, and it protects our internal organs, heart and lungs. And how many pairs of ribs we are having? So, we are having 12 pairs of ribs. And we are having here another backbone or vertebral column. That is, it is made up of 33 small bones. And what does this do? It protects the spinal cord. Again, very important uh, uh, organ in our uh, body that is 
लाइक वेर वी यूल बी एबल टू बेंड आर बैक और मूव सो स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ अर बॉडी क्लियर चिल्ड्रेन येस सो दिस इज अबाउट अर स्कलेटल स्ट्रक्चर क्लियर ओके ना स्कलेटल सिस्टम फंक्शन ऑफ स्कलेटल सिस्टम so as we learnt so we are, we are having uh, so many systems in our body so from that skeletal system is one of the system what is, what are its functions like what does this do what is its work the skull protects delicate organs like the brain and eyes okay so what is it work it protects the delicate organs see here brain and eyes brain and eyes the skull this part is known as skull children and that skull is going to protect very sensitive brain and eyes they are very sensitive parts no so it going to protect them the ribs protect the lungs and heart here see here the rib cage it protects what lungs and heart okay in the skeleton there are many joints as we learnt there are many joints a joint is a place where two or more bones meet what is a joint children joining normally joint is is we are joining we are able to add two things we are as one we have to join the two things and make it as one now same here also what is happening a joint is a place where two or more bones meet see here if you see these are all joints separate separate joints here they are joining together to make it as a whole part of a body see here all joints here okay so in the skeleton what is happening there are many joints okay and they all meet and to make a body okay the joints help us to move our body parts so what is their main function what is its main work joints so they help us to move our body parts okay children clear okay now now these are the functions of our skeletal system okay now so whatever we have learned until now we'll just revise it in the form of question and answers clear yes this system protects the body organs provides support for the body which system children nervous system respiratory system skeleton system or circulatory system so which system protects the body organs provide support for the body which provide support for our body yes it is skeletal system because of the skeletal system we are able to have support no we are able to have a shape size clear yes so next question dash at the basic building blocks of the body what are the basic building blocks a option cells b organs c tissues and d all the above what did i say children so they are just like a bricks which build a house what are they they are j a option cells cells are the basic building blocks of the body next question a group of cells join together to make a dash what do a group of cells join together why what to make yes to make a organ or cells tissue or skin which is the correct option yes it is tissue okay children group of cells together make a tissue clear yes the next question an adult human body has dash bones an adult human body has dash bones how many children a option 216 b 206 c 260 d 270 how many yes it is 206 clear yes now next question yes a place where two or more bones meet is a option skull b rib cage c joint 
the chest a place where two or more bones meet is dash which helps in a movement of the body yes what is it yes it is c that is joint clear children yeah a group of tissues join together to make a dash a group of tissues join together to make a dash what are they we'll just see a1 tissue b cells c organ and d skin yes a, what what is the answer children c organ no as we learned group of cells they'll make tissues and group of tissues they'll make a organ okay children okay now next question which of the following movements does not involve the use of joints and muscles which of the following movements does not involve the use of joints and muscle listen carefully so here you are having movement but it does not involve the use of joints and muscles it is not involving i mean in the sense it is not taking the help of joints and muscles but still it is moving so you have to identify it what is that a blinking of eyes b kneeling down c bending your fingers d nodding of head blinking of eyes kneeling down bending your fingers and nodding of head so where do you don't require the use of joints and muscles answer is yes blinking of eyes whereas if you go to the three options kneeling down bending your figure nodding of head we need the help of joints and muscles okay children so a option is the right one the next question vertebral column or backbone of skeleton protects what a option brain b option kidneys c option heart and d option spinal cord so vertebral column or backbone of skeleton protects what yes what does it protect children which we have on our back yes it is spinal cord okay clear yes rib cage of skeleton protects rib cage of skeleton protects a brain b lungs c heart d both b and c that is lungs and heart so rib cage which we have around the chest no so what that it protects the answer is d that is heart and lungs okay both b and c and the next question skull of skeleton protects skull of skeleton protects when you were having skull children like our head part no it is skull so what does it protect a brain b lungs c heart and d kidneys yes brain is the correct answer no we have brain in the skull okay now the next question which system of the human body provides protection to most of the major organs so which system of the human body provides protection to most of the major organs a is digestive system b is respiratory system c circulatory system and d is skeletal system so which provides protection in the sense it is going to protect most of the major organs main organs what is the answer here it is skeletal system okay children okay so that's all for today take care so we'll continue tomorrow thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates